hope Rain's grandmother never comes back. Mm. Rain's grandmother's gonna be here any minute. I hear hey. Ringo! Hey! Oh, come up here, Ooh. you. What do you got oh, there? Oh, wow. Is that us? Me, yeah. you, Josie, Queenie, my whole family. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's great. <laughs> what is this? I need a blue shoe. Hey, Josie, I, I hope I didn't hold you up. Oh, I'm here, Princess. Oh. <laughs> Rain, why don't you uh, show Queenie that that box of costumes that you got from Felicia? Okay, come on. Here, I'll put this up, okay? You want to go get dressed up and surprise me? Cool. <laughs> Rain knows she's leaving with me today, doesn't she? I stayed in the motel so you'd have time to say goodbye. I can't give her up. I really hate manipulating people like this. Using their trust like this, huh? Well, Nikos used my wife. You can keep that in mind. Of course I've kept that in mind. Why do you think I sent the ring to Alexander? Because you think he's going to come after me. Oh, God. Yes, and we're all depending on that. And, and you know what? What if he does come after me? You have no intention of letting me see him, do you? Felicia. Felicia, I think it best if I handled Nikos. No, forget it. I have to have a say in this. Otherwise, one of you is going to be dead. I know that much. You want to be with him even oh now, don't God. you? Oh, my God! How can you say that to me after what he did to Rachel? How? Felicia. Felicia, I don't want you to go near him. My, my, he could end up ab abducting oh, you. Oh, for God's sake. He's, he's ridiculous. He's Why done, would you He's say done that? much worse than that. Now, Felicia, is the time for us to be reasonable. What? Is your way reason? And what yes. is my way, it's then? What is it? It's simply you. emotional. Stop it. Now, I wish I could stay here with you. Obviously, you need a referee, but I have to go over and see Paulina. Please. And you two have to calm down. All okay. we want is for you to be safe. I know that. I'm just... I'm scared to death. I'm scared you're going to provoke Alexander. He's a desperate man. That's why you're staying with and us. And what about you guys? Both of you are in danger all over again. I mean, I just hate all of this, Rachel. I hate it. I... I hate it. Cass is at my place. He's monitoring calls. Somebody's going to get hurt here. I know it. No, I think it's best that you don't see Nikos at all. What happens if he goes to my place? What? He'll see Cass? He'll know that we're setting him up, and somebody's going to get hurt. You don't trust Nikos any more than I do, do you? Look, I have someone watching the apartment, Felicia. I'm going over there right no, now. No, it's I'm not, not a, a good I idea. If we stick together, we'll win. Precisely. Right, Felicia? Come on, honey. All right. 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 Go to the hospital. Give Polly in my love. I'm all right. All right. All right. Yeah, give her mine too. You'll come right home. Mm -hmm. Make sure there are lots of people around you and don't risk being alone. You don't have to worry about me. He's not after me. He's after Felicia. Do you think Alexander has the ring yet? Well, we'll soon find out. If he's leaving from Scathos, he won't be here for many hours. Oh, I think Nikos is much closer than that. I have an assignment for you. Find out if Hutchins is using Felicia to trap me. I'm afraid my schedule's a bit tight right now. Nasty fire at the uh, Carlino house, wasn't it? Yes. Tragic. We could only hope that Paulina's drug problem didn't contribute to that. First my son, now they're home. You were seen sneaking into that house. Then you drugged her and set the house on fire. Harrison. When the judge knows what I know, you'll never get custody of your son. You can't do this. Check out Hutchins and get back to me.
Morning, Blue Eyes. Morning. Let's just get Dante and go home. Doc, till the doctor says everything's okay. I'm fine. I'm Dante's fine. Thank God. It's going to take the rest of the winter to get that house cleaned up, and I want to start today, you know, now. Forget the house. Well, do you think we'll be able to live in it while they're doing repairs? Have you talked to the we insurance guy? We don't have a house anymore, Paulina. It's totaled. Fire chief won't even let me go through it. It's all gone? There's nothing the left? fire didn't get the smoke and the water. But, Joe, there's got to be something left. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. No, of course I worry about it. Where are we going to live? You blame me, don't you? Blaming anyone is not going to bring the house back. Joe, I'm not responsible for that fire. Did I say you were? Why can't you just admit that you think it's my fault? If anybody needs to admit any... Forget it. Maybe we're losing a lot more than just a house here. Fighting is not going to put the house back together, and it's not going to make anybody forget what happened. Because of me. Boy, it's a lot easier to stand there and judge me, isn't it? I feel superior. It's not what I'm doing. You think I'm a junkie, don't you? No. Sure you do. Say it. That's why you made sure they ran a blood test, didn't you? You tested positive for downers, Paulina. What can I say? I did not take any drugs. I did not drink any alcohol. Maybe the lab was wrong. It happens, you know? Fine. No, not fine. Don't do that to me. To you? Don't do it to you. Paulina, who burned down the house that I grew up in? Who almost killed our son? What? God only knows what you were on. Okay, first his speed, then his booze, then his The fire wasn't my fault, Joe. I didn't do it. Why? You see? Do you see what I get when I'm honest with you? You lie to my face. But I'm not lying, Joe. I'm not. You know what? You'd rather believe a piece of paper, a lab test, than me. Why can't you just for once accept responsibility? Because I didn't do anything. You know, thank God Dante's safe in the nursery now. You mean he's not safe with me? That's why you want me to stay in the hospital, isn't it? Because you don't trust me with our son. Ooh. I've decided something. When Alexander contacts me, I'm going straight to the police. Felicia, the police cannot, cannot be involved oh, in this. Carl, shush. tell me. Don't shush me. Carl. You Let go of you me. You were eavesdropping, weren't You're you? You're paranoid. Felicia, reason with him. Carl, let her go. Come on, over Amanda. Here, Come over here. I live here. So do I. My God, has he been like this all morning? Don't be so evasive. Answer my question. I lost my glove, but I found it. See? I see more than you know. Now, if you'll please excuse us. Felicia and I have business to discuss. Fine, I'll go upstairs. No, no, why don't you go on over to the hospital? Rachel and Paulina, they're probably in need of your support. Well, they didn't seem to indicate that they needed my support. Leave now, Amanda. Amanda, you don't have to go anywhere. No, you know You're what? Right. It's all right. I'm going to leave for my mother and Paulina. Bye. Actually, think she was eavesdropping? Not now. You know what, Carl? 
I think maybe you are a little too tense for all of this. I'm calling the police. Fine, go ahead, call them. Tip off Nikos. They will go after me when I go to meet Alexander, and they will arrest him, all right? Felicia, you have to stay here. I can't. I do. Now, we'll either do this my way, or we shall not do it at all. You know what? You may be able to get this kid to get out of her own house, but nobody gives me orders, including you. We love Rain. We're, we, we're family. Oh, you two are ripe for a child, and I hope you have one someday, but Rain is my granddaughter, and I'm going to raise her starting now. Well, she belongs here with us. Is... Rain is my family. She's my daughter's daughter. Yeah? Then where were you? Where were you when we found her hiding in a dumpster? Where were you when she was living with drug dealers? And what about her father? Where were you when he was beating her up? I'm here now. Oh, so you... Now she has a home and you decide you, you want her. Is that right? That's not fair. Excuse me. Hey, hey. good morning. Good morning. Good Come on in, Tyrone. Tyrone Ooh. Montgomery. Josie. This is Colleen Wolf. Uh, call me Queenie, hon. Huh? That's uh, Rain's grandmother. This is Tyrone. He's our attorney. You brought an attorney over here this afternoon? We had what? this meeting set up before you showed up. Showed up? I didn't just show up. I've been looking for Rain for months. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm not quite up to speed here. Rain's grandmother wants to take her back to Iowa. She needs her family. Understand, Sonny. If Josie and I adopt Rain, you can still be in her life. We're, we're a family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If she could come and visit you in Iowa. You know, I, when I was little, I went and visited my cousins in Oklahoma all the time, and it was great. I mean, we don't want to shut you out. Well, that's more than I can say for my own daughter. When Cheryl ran off with that awful man, I begged her to let Rain stay with me. No, I know. I, I, I promise you can always visit Rain. I even Rain. called the police. They couldn't do anything. I reported the abuse. I even got a lawyer to try to help me, but I... I, I guess I tried too hard because Rain and Cheryl vanished. And don't you know I looked for them every day? Rain is all I have left of my own baby. How can I turn her over to a couple of strangers? Look, I'm a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go show me some more of your fancy clothes? <laughs> okay, Tyrone, you have to help us. All right, what? Yeah? It's okay. No, it's... Listen, if Queenie's a blood relative, then there... She is. She is a blood relative. She, she checks out with Child Protection Services? Yes, she does. No problem. Then don't waste your time in court. You can't win. What are you talking about? Are you sure about this? I'm positive. I'm positive. We... Even... Even beyond the law, keeping a child away from a blood relative, it, uh, it can only lead to problems later. But Rain, <laughs> we love Rain. <laughs> Josie, then work something out with her grandmother, or let Rain go. I'm sorry. It's OK. Sorry. Thank you for your help. It's OK. I wish I could have been more That's help. all right. No, you've been bigger help than you know. Tell me there's a way that we can fix this. Just tell me that we're not going to lose her. Please, just tell me. Just say it, Joe. You don't trust me with our son. Look at what happens when I do. Our house is gone, Paulina. It's burned to the Joe, ground. Joe, it was my house, too. It was the only home I ever had. You almost killed Kirkland. And I went into rehab, didn't I? Yeah, and you started drinking, right? And then you almost gassed yourself at the restaurant. But I didn't. And what if Dante was there? But he wasn't, Joe. And that was the end of it. That's when I swore off everything. And I swear to you, I swear to you, I haven't touched anything since. I don't want our son to grow up without his mother. Yeah, maybe he'd be better off. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't want to say that. 
Paulina, look at me, please. Paulina, Paulina, look. Paulina, Paulina. Get some help. Please go back to rehab. For what? Damn it, Joe, I haven't taken anything. I haven't All taken right. anything. Well, this isn't a good time. No, I'm so glad please, to see you, in. Rachel, please. Maybe she'll I listen. can come back later. No, she'll maybe listen to you. Don't you dare! Don't you dare treat me like I'm not in this room! You are not. The woman I married is not here at all. Oh, Joe, I'm not perfect, and you can't stand it, can you? You think you're such a saint because you stuck by me with a few problems? You, oh, a few problems. Pauline, this is more than a little weight gain. Walk away, Joe. No, no, we gotta have this out here now. No, you've had enough, both of you. You won't listen to me. Listen to Rachel, right? Please? Do something before it's too late. Uh, uh. Come on, now, all I want is a little DNA test for me and my mother. We need her consent. No, 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 I want to surprise her. That's so sweet. All right, listen, I'll come back with a strand of her hair, and then we'll just check everything a out. A consent form. You are tough, you know that? Not really. No? But I do need this job. Captain? Not how's, now, how's, Grant. How's Paulina? Your son? Is he gonna be all right? Since when do you care about my son? Well, I'm a father. He's fine. Good. And, um, any word on how the fire started? Not yet. Look, if the mayor's office can be of any help. You're the one who got Paulina hooked on street drugs. Still making excuses she for her. She testifies against you in family court, Grant. No, Nick, you no will evidence. never get custody of Kirkland. You really think that a judge will listen to the testimony of an addict? I'm sorry, an ex-addict? Get out of my way. Hey. Something's going down with Nikos. So much for us working with Hutchins. Exactly. Carl and Felicia completely shut down when I walked into the room. So what's the deal? I think Carl is setting a trap, and Felicia's the bait to catch Nikos. January 2nd. Mass murder on a remote island. Get ready to scream. <laughs> Sunset Beach style. <laughs> going to be some vacation. Terror Island, this week, Sunset Beach, NBC Daytime. We got a blood. I want to hold on to rain just as bad as you do. You know that, right? Well, maybe we should take Tyrone's advice. What? Try to work something out with Queen? Yeah. Yeah, if we work something out with Queen, maybe when she sees, you know, what kind of people we are, know. maybe she'll see. I mean. What? All right, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. You with me? Of course I'm with you. I'm with you always. No. Is that law you're gone? <laughs> yeah, 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 the coast is clear. <laughs> Too bad. All the lawyers in Bay City look like that when I'm moving to Bay City. <laughs> uh, Wouldn't that be interesting? It's you, worth thinking about, would isn't you it? you consider that? Moving here? Oh, yeah. come on, I'm just fooling around. Well, then we would all be here. See, and now, uh, yeah, and we, we, you know, we're very adopt solid. Adopt Rain, yeah, we're very solid. We're if married. We adopt Rain, I mean, we're a married couple. Uh, you two think you're the only couple in the world, don't you? <laughs> no, not, no, but of course not. Uh, I am engaged to the nicest man you would ever want to meet. He ordered Rain special, or I'd be flashing it in your face right now. You're getting married? Valentine's Day. Uh, listen, don't Next take this week. the wrong way, but if, uh. Why know, isn't he here? Yeah. Yeah, why didn't he come looking for rain with you? I didn't miss being with his grandkids on Christmas. Those babies' hearts would break if Papa didn't come to see him. And he's flying into Chicago tonight, and rain and I'll pick him up at the airport, and then we'll all go home. Joe, hey, Joe. hi. Uh, tell me you don't need me at the precinct right now. No, no, everything's fine. Uh, listen, you have a guest. I'll go. No, 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 no. Come on in. Come on in. No, come on in, Joe. So how's Paulina and Dante? Okay. Um, well, I really don't know. It's... Um, Colleen Wolf. Call <sighs> oh, yeah. me Queenie. Sorry. I'm sorry. I... This is Rain's grandmother. Ah, hi. Joe Carlino. Nice to meet you. 
Found her grandmother, huh? Long story. Uh, Joe is the police captain. Oh, please don't tell me you call the cops. No, nothing like Look, that. Look, this is a bad time, isn't it? No, it's not a bad time, Joe. As a matter of, what, what would you like? What's on your mind? <laughs> you got a minute? Of course. Um, I'm gonna go check on Rain. Would you, would you like to come with me? Sure. So, how's Dante? No burns? No burns. No, um, no lung damage. All clear. Is he still in the hospital? For now. What about Paulina? Uh, her hand's burned, but, uh, she's, uh, fine. Lucky, very lucky. Oh, they're both lucky. Uh, Joe, can I get you something? Maybe some some cider or some coffee or something. Joe, come on, my man, talk to me. It's Paulina, Gary. I'm losing her. Joe's the one who's losing it, not me. He's worried about you. That's why he's saying things he doesn't mean. No, he means it. All right. But I didn't take any drugs, Rachel. Why can't he believe me? You really want me to answer that? But I didn't do it. Not this time. Honey, if you were in his position, would you believe you? Yes, absolutely. Well, you have better faith in people than the rest of us do. <laughs> doesn't Joe realize that I would never do anything to hurt my son? Don't you? Did you take anything that night, anything at all? Drugs, alcohol? Rachel, I'm telling you, I blew out the candles. I drank a cup of tea, and that is all. I swear it. I believe you. You do? They did a blood test. It says that I have barbiturates in my system. You said that. You still believe me? Thank you. Now all I have to do is convince Joe. I think Carl is using Felicia. I don't know, though. I couldn't hear everything that they were saying. Well, that's the last thing she needs. She sent word to him or something. Anyway, he's coming to see her. Oh, so Carl's pushing Felicia in front of Nikos again? No. See, actually, they're fighting about who's going to get to see Nikos. Felicia is a wreck, and so am I. If Carl is caught up in this again, then Mom could be, too. He doesn't care who gets hurt, does he? As long as he gets even with Nikos. What is the matter with you, Felicia? What's going on? What, are you having second thoughts about setting up Nikos? Are you? Is that what's going on? If so, you've got to let me know right now. Well, the only second thoughts I'm having are about you, Me? Carl. Yes. Me? Because I know exactly Why? what me? you're doing. What? You want to keep me here so you can kill Alexander. That's oh, innocent. that is so Well, I'm going to call cute. the police. Go ahead, call the police. You'll tip Nikos off and he'll never show his face again. I want him brought in alive, Carl. Do you understand that? Alive. It's more than he wanted for Rachel, isn't it, when he was stuffing her in that tomb? Good contact. Did you see Alexander? Someone slipped this note under your door, honey. I'm sure it's from Nikos. Satellite. Read it, Felicia. Come, read it. Take it easy, Carl. I will. My dearest Felicia, I received the ring. You need me. Now I have a reason to go on living. Be patient. Trust in me as I trust in you. My enemies mean nothing now, because you love me. No one will keep us apart. All of my love forever, Alexander. We've got him. Or it's the other way around. Amigos. 
What is it? Felicia, light of your life, is plotting with Carl Hutchins. They're setting you up. Nikos. Good. Is there something wrong with this connection? Everything Felicia does pleases me. Nikos, it's a trap. I find it an opportunity. Why is that? You make me very angry when you hang up on me like that. Paulina swears she wasn't on drugs, and and I want to believe her. But that's hard for you. Her track record's not so good, Joe. I've tried. I tried so hard to help her. You know, it's really hard to help somebody, with, especially with drugs and alcohol. This is very much her problem. Yeah, well, you know what? Tell that to Dante. Okay, he's the one waking up in the middle of the night with the house on fire. My kid. Gary, I grew up in that house. I woke up in the middle of the night, my mom was right there. Or Pop. Dante wakes up and he's terrified. And where's Paulina? I thought she said she was holding Dante in her arms. Yeah, and she was about to pass out. I mean, if I didn't get... No, I... Well, I can't even think about that. Kid changes everything, doesn't he? Yeah, man, of course he does. I mean, he didn't know that. Gary, the little girl in the other room, right? Do you think her mom intended to overdose? No, it didn't look like that. Her mom could have been Paulina. So easily, man. And you don't think that girl needs her mother right now? Needs her family? I mean, Dante does too, but, but... I gotta think about what's best for him. Yeah. I mean, I can't sit around and wait for Paulina to, to hit bottom or see the light or, or get straight or whatever the hell you call it. I mean, it's too dangerous. Dante can't wait for that either. You know, I never really thought about... Uh, what Dante uh, needs comes first. Over what Paulina needs and over what I need. Of course. Of course it does. It Kid comes first always. Absolutely, absolutely. And I don't need, I don't need 12 steps to convince Paulina of that. No, no, I mean, you mess up and the kid pays for it. Exactly, so don't mess up, right? Right. Don't mess up. Right. Act like a grown-up, think about what they need, take some responsibility. That's right. <sighs> That's right, man. You're, I thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. You're welcome, I guess. Well, listen, you know, you, if you need me, you can call me here anytime. Yeah. Let me walk you out. All right, bye. You just keep trying, and we'll, we'll be back in in a minute. I tried everything I could to keep Cheryl away from Rain's father. You failed. I put a headstone on my daughter's grave this morning. I know I failed, hon. But I was a kid when I had Cheryl and started making mistakes right from the start. But now, I know more. With Rain, I'll make it right. How can you be sure of that? Nobody's sure, honey. Just do the best you can. And what if that's not good enough? You really love her, don't you? Both Gary and I love her very much, yes. What was your mother like? She's wonderful. She's Is she the stay-at-home type, and baking cookies and helping you with your homework? Not exactly. And you? Are you always so anxious to raise a child? <laughs> we all change. I sure did. And I imagine that you have. Haven't you? We all do things we aren't proud of, but sometimes, with a little luck, we get a chance to make it up. Rain is my chance. Rain is a little girl. She's not a second chance. 
When I put flowers on Cheryl's grave this morning, I promised to give Rain the best life I possibly could. And that's exactly what I intend to do. But Rain, I can tell you, is so happy here. She's not afraid anymore. She laughs. She laughs all the time, and we're a family. We need her. What about what Rain needs? I thought we were together on this. We are. That's why we, we're gonna do what's best for Rain. That's us. That's us with Rain. We're a family. Wait a second, Josie. Rain has a family. She loves her grandmother. Then she can, she can go and visit her anytime she wants. Do you understand that Queenie is her only tie to her mother? That's it. You want to take that away from her? What did Joe say to you? He told me that he puts Dante first, and by God, we're going to put Rain first. We do. We do. She loves us. She wants to live here. No, listen to me. She loved her grandmother before I brought her home to this house. She has a right to know who she is, to know the family she came from. Do you understand me? If we take that away from her, sweetheart, that is not love. Okay. We have to let her go, don't we? I think that's the right thing to do. Can you do it? Oh, well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> My sweet baby. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't. Baby, you can. Come here. Come here, you can. We can. We'll do you it need together. To me. Yes. <laughs> do you know that when I brought her home to this house, it was like we never really lost our baby at all. You remember that? What we did. Yeah, but then it's like we're losing our child all over again. Yeah, but you gotta understand something, Jay. If we keep her here, it's not gonna bring our child back. It's just not. Oh, God. Pauline, I drove by the house. You made it out just in time. I'm all right, really. Thanks for bringing the clothes. That's nothing. Listen, if Joe hadn't come by when he did. Yeah. I'd be holding a harp. <laughs> or a pitchfork. Which do you think I deserve? Paulina, did I... Did I say the wrong thing? I want to catch Nikos just as much as Carl does. Carl doesn't need your help. Well, maybe not. Isn't there something that I can do? I don't think so. You're just under so much strain with Paulina right now. If you want to help Carl, you just stay away from him. But I want to work with him. Why? Why all of a sudden do you want to work with Carl? Just trying to make things right. If you want to make things right, you leave Carl alone and help with Paulina. Fine. And now I have to call somebody to find out when we can get her out of here. Well, isn't Joe handling that? Matthew, they just lost their home. They've got a lot on their mind. Do you want me to go down to missions and talk to no, somebody? No, I want you to stay here and be with Amanda. You know what she's like in hospitals. Right. Bring on the tissues. <gasps> I can't take this. Neither can I. So how's Paulina? A clothes help? No. She's crying. So are you. Why is it that I always say the wrong thing? Can I ask you a favor? 
Sure, as long as it has nothing to do with hospitals. The, the next time Carl loses it with you, make sure Mom's in the room. I'll try and schedule that. No, I mean it. I want her to see that Carl's anger hasn't gone away. Right, bye. Hey. Did you get to calm down? It's not like you to fight with her, Joe. Yeah, huh? She needs her family right now. Why? So you can make excuses for her? That's what we've all been doing for months. I'm not making excuses for her. I believe her. Why is that? Instinct. Well, the evidence shows she was on drugs. So what? You're going to put her on trial? She almost died, Joe. So did my son. And who's looking out for him? Huh? She loves that boy. Maybe that's not enough anymore. What are we going to tell Rain? I don't know. What if I say the wrong thing? You won't. She loves Queenie, right? You bet she loves Queenie. It's going to be good for her, and we're going to be able to check up on her all the time and make sure that it's OK, right? Do you think she's going to know that we're doing what's best for her? I hope so. I'm a little worried that all she's gonna hear is goodbye. Stop staring at me, Carl, right I'm now. not staring at you! What is it? You don't trust me? Is that it? Is I, it? I want to. Should I not? Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Everybody, just ch chill out. We're going to get through this. Okay. All right? Yeah. Even though you're wearing that little ensemble. What? What's wrong with this? Yeah, I was thinking of something, you know, maybe a little less corporate, more, not a hurry, James Bond, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> I happen to like this. Well, that's all right. But if you really want to look like a spy. <laughs> Answer it. You can still bail. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Hello? Felicia. Alexander. I was afraid you wouldn't answer. Don't be afraid, darling. We'll be together soon. Yes. Tell no one. And when you come, you must come alone. You'll feel better once you're home, wherever that is. Why don't you come stay with us? Have you talked to Joe about that? It'll be fine. He's really mad at me. Honey, he's scared. Once you guys can settle down, he'll feel better. Hey, you can have your own wing. Joe's not exactly the wing type, unless you're talking chicken. He's just trying to help, honey. So are all of us. I just want to get out of this hospital. Thanks for meeting me on short notice. No problem, Joe. So what's the emergency? We're going to keep Cass out of this, right? Don't worry about it, Joe. I, I don't keep any secrets from my law partner. But everything you tell me is confidential. Good. Good, great. All right, so what's this case? I want to have my wife committed. This weekend, the network will experience a blackout. Sunday, the movie premiere event you've been waiting for. Blackout effect. The entire air traffic control system goes down. Thousands of planes in the air with only minutes to figure out how to get them down. Eric Stoltz stars in the NBC original movie event, Blackout Effect, this Sunday only on NBC.